Hi, I'm Adam Biggers of Today's U, and joining me, uh, Thomas Bendit of Big Ten Powerhouse and Today's U. Thomas, Michigan State, comes in the Chrysler Center, has its way with Michigan. Two bad losses in a row. What is wrong with the Wolverines? Uh, I'd say the biggest thing, without a doubt, is no defense. <laughs> um, losing shooters, missing switches. Uh, Bryn Forbes just lit it up all day. Uh, he had, what, eight threes or something like that. He uh, finished with 29 points. Um, even inside, Matt Costello really had his way. And just no defense. <laughs> yeah, for, Forbes very, very close to tying his career high of 32. He was one three-pointer away from setting the Chrysler Center record, which uh, nine set back in 2000. Uh, it, it really was a game where Michigan was outmatched in just about every facet, uh, whether it was down low, Matt Costello uh, really you know, kind of did what he wanted to against Mark Donnell and Michigan's other forwards. And it was a game where Denzel Valentine facilitated. Bryn Forbes knocked down a lot of shots, and it's, it's really as simple as that. Everything went well for <laughs> Michigan. When you shoot 67% in the first half, you are most likely going to win that game. I don't really think there's any other way to say that. Oh, yeah. And I mean, Valentine really limited what Michigan could do. They tried to run that 1-3-1 one, one zone a couple times. And Valentine would just do the old lob right over the top. Um, you know, having a guy like that, you know, what, 6-5, six, 6-6, six, six, you can just throw it right over, shoot over, drive over it, um, really limits what you can do defensively. With it being the only game uh, between Michigan and Michigan State in the regular season, Matt Costello told me the seniors had talked about it a little bit. Bryn Ford said the same thing. They wanted to come here. Obviously, both teams wanted to win. And with it being the only meeting of the regular season, there was maybe a little bit of a premium put on it. Always an emotional game. Huge win for Michigan State. There's really nothing else that can be said. Looks like the Spartans are getting things together. It looks like Michigan needs to go back to the drawing board.